All right, so everybody knows the Google Sheets, the most common tool. Google Sheets is used for everyone, but in this video, you'll understand how to make your Google Sheets work like a data analyst without using your any you know brain over there without using any keyboard functions. Data analyst, the job of a data analyst to analyze the data, visualize the data, and help the entrepreneur, founder, or the decision maker to take quick decision. This tool in this video, you'll understand how we can get the data analyzed in a beautiful manner with the help of simple AI function. Okay, let's try to understand. Now, I'll take with my example. I'll start this video with my example. I am an entrepreneur. I am an instructor and a trainer. Whenever I go for a training to various participants, various companies, I usually take a feedback because after the session happens, I want to understand whether my training was good, bad or neutral. So, I take a feedback. Now, one of the example, I've taken a feedback in one of the organization. I cannot name the company right now, uh, but the company have taken uh, training for 100 participants. All those participants, not obviously everybody will like me, right? Some people will hate me, some people will like me, or some people will be neutral. K by OK, hai, chalega, no problem. So I took the feedback from all the participants and they wrote three sentences, five sentences, ten sentences. Some people wrote one word, some people kept it blank. Now, if I want to understand, I cannot read everything, right? It's 100 people. How do I take help, uh, help of AI? to summarize this data. Let's try to understand. On my screen, if you see, I have a data which is participant ID, name and the feedback text. If you see, the data is very lengthy. Now, obviously, if I scroll down, you can see there are almost 100 participants which has given a feedback. Now, what I'll do is, I want to understand in, uh, let's say, five words. I don't want to put my head into it. I just want to understand quickly. So, what I can do is, I can use a feature of AI, equal to AI. Now, understand, it comes in the paid version of uh, Google Suite. So, equal to AI, in double quotes, I'll say, summarize in maybe five words. Okay. Summarize in five words, comma. And I can select the cell number. So, equal to AI, in double quotes, write the prompt, comma, and the cell number. Once I press enter, within five or ten seconds, it will summarize the lengthy data and give me the insights here. So, when I scroll down, you can see for all the data, for all the cells, it will keep on understanding and summarize the data. So you see the second one, interactive, information, informative, practical, helpful address. It's a good part. Lively, interactive, clear, detail and so on. Engaging, premortal would help. So all those details are summarized within few seconds. That's a beautiful part about AI in Google Sheets. I'll delete this column and show you another example. Now, I just want to understand in one word whether it's a positive, negative or neutral. I don't want to understand in detail. So what I can do is equal to AI. Okay, it's known as sentiment analysis. So, analyze. So, I've given the prompt as equal to AI. In double quotes, you write a prompt, which is analyze sentiment as positive, negative and neutral and uh, comma C2, the cell number. Once I press enter, now, what it will do is uh, understand that 5 or 10 or 20 sentences and give me whether the feedback is positive, negative or neutral. When I scroll down, within few seconds, I can analyze the sentiment of all the 100 people in uh, Google Docs. That's a beautiful feature. I don't have to take help of any of the software. If I'm getting this positive, negative, neutral, don't you think we can create a pivot table and understand how many positive, how many negative, how many neutral? So that is a beautiful way of tracking your feedback in the train. That one method, I usually track it. Now, what happens is, again, positive, negative, neutral is again little vague. Let's go very, very specific. What is a specific option we have is, I can write the prompt over here that equal to AI. So I've given a prompt here as equal to AI. I want you to give a rating between 1 and 5, where 1 stands for negative and 5 stands for positive. And I've selected the cell number over here. Now, once I do that, once I press enter, now it is giving me rating very, very specific. When I scroll down, and I can get the output. So, you remember, when I got the negative, positive and neutral, I didn't know how much was the rating. So, if you see the first two, three options, it gave positive, positive, positive. But is it 5 or is it 4 positive? So, if you see 5 and 4 and 3 and so on, if I keep on dragging at the bottom, I get the details at the bottom and uh, this will give me a rating for all the 100 people. Now, in the corporate companies, there's a usually a rule that if the instructor or trainer has a feedback above 4.5, he's a good instructor. 
okay if the feedback is below 4.5 it's an average if it is below 4 you should not come next time and don't show the face okay so in this case if i have the numbers i can analyze and see myself whether i'm a good bad or worst instructor so this is the way which uh, usually corporate companies measure the feedback okay that's the my use case the second example i can give you now Imagine this use case and think about how you can use in your organization, in your company for your purpose. I'll uh, help you with one more example, support tickets. When you call for a customer care, my mobile phone is not working, my SIM card is not working. What happens is the customer care will write down all your feedback, all your issues into one particular format. You see, I have four columns, ticket ID, date, customer name and the issue description. Now, I want to categorize these issues, whether it's a product issue whether it's a service issue, whether it's a delivery issue or whether it's a, a some other issue. Okay, I want to categorize that data and see what type of issue is it. So, I've given a very simple prompt that equal to AI from the issue description column. You see the fourth column issue description. I want you to categorize each ticket into a delivery problem or a product problem or a billing or installation or service. What problem do you have? Because unless I come to know the problem, how do I fix it? Okay, so once I press enter, so if I press enter, if you see what will happen is I will be getting the option as product. When I scroll down for all the issues, within seconds, I can understand what's the proper problem over there. So when I see, when I scroll down, I get the answers like somewhere there are product issues, somewhere there are delivery issues, somewhere there are installation issues and so on. Now, once I get the data, it is taking few seconds to get the output. But once I get the data, don't you think we can create a pivot table of this data and understand how many product issues, how many installation, how many maybe uh, communication and delivery issues. Within few seconds, we can create a pivot table. So if you do not know the problem, how are you going to fix it? First, you should know what is the problem. So if you have the maximum problem for product, let's solve the product, call the product manager. If the installation is a problem, get the answers, call the installation manager. That's the way, how do you fix it? So coming from bad data to taking a good decision, understand coming from bad data, the column number four is a bad data, worst data, time consuming data. And the good decision would be with the help of pivot table, which you got the answers. Once you get this output, you can take faster decision and you can make your company better. Okay. So this was the second example and the third example we have is about the employee feedback. Usually what happens is, uh, I, in the companies, people take a feedback about the employees. Okay, and obviously feedback is taken so you can uh, reduce the workload, uh, not the workload, I can say, you can reduce and understand what is the problem, where is the problem, we can fix it. So imagine I have taken a feedback of all the people in the company and I want to understand what is the major issue. Is the issue about the uh, salary, is the issue about the workload, about the product manager, about the manager, about the admin, about the facilities. What is the major problem? So what I can do here is I can, the prompt would be something like this and I can just paste the prompt directly. So the prompt is equal to AI from the feedback text, assign one theme per response. Whatever responses we have got, we'll try to categorize into different options. Like one is the workload, salary, manager, communication, growth and facilities. What problem do you have? I can just press enter. So once I press enter, I can just drag down for all the 100 people in the company or 1000 or 10,000. I can scroll down and I can find out what is the actual problem. So the lengthy description, what they've given in the feedback form, I can categorize into words, simple words. Once I categorize, obviously I can create a pivot table. Based on pivot table, I can sort in descending order. What is the actual problem? Where is the maximum people employed or people working in the company are stressed? Find out and let's start working on the solution. So again, coming back to the point, coming from bad data to taking good decisions in the company, this heavy lifting job can be done with the help of AI in Google Sheets. I hope you're getting the point and that's all for this video.